Agustina, before we start, do you need time to pray? Yes, ma'am. Okay, you can pray first. Okay. Uh, on behalf of the team, the thesis proposal today is officially opened. So now we go on to the first session presentation. Okay, Agustina, you have uh, not more than 10 minutes to present your proposal. Yeah, okay, time is yours, Agustina. You can present your PowerPoint slide. Where is Agustina? <laughs> it seems that she's disconnected. Mohon maaf, men. Saya tiba-tiba jadi kesalahan. Oke, okay, Agustina. Time is yours. You can present your proposal. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Okay, thank you for the time that has been given to me. Before I start my presentation, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Agustina Christi. My registration number is A116087. Today, I would like to present my thesis proposal entitled The Analysis of Translation Technique and the subtitle of the, of the movie Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. The first is chapter one, introduction, research background. In this research, the researcher uses Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, and the Goblet of Fire movie that is translated into Indonesian subtitle. Since the researcher, researcher has already familiar with this movie, the researcher wants to know more about what kind of why or way to translate the source to a subtitle for the movie. Translation technique is a way that the translator used to make the subtitle. Or because the researcher wants to understand more deeply about this translation technique, the researcher will analyze the translation technique used in the subtitle of Harry Potter in the Goblet of Fire movie done by Detective Pico. Then research focus. The researcher focuses on analyzing translation technique that it used to translate the utterances done by the main character from English into Indonesian style. The translation technique theory that the researcher used to analyze the subtitle in this research is the one that proposed by Lucia Molina and Amparo Hurtado Albir because the technique is appropriate to the requirements when translating trans translation, when translating subtitle text. Research problem. The first problem is 
What are the translation techniques that the researcher used in translating English subtitle text into Indonesian subtitle as presented in Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire? The second problem is what kind of translation technique is the most frequently used in translating Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire movie subtitle? Research objective. The first is to know the translation techniques that the translator used in translating English subtitle text into Indonesian subtitle that presented in Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire movie. Second is to know the kind of translation technique that most frequently used in translating Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire movie subtitle. Research significance. The first is for English students. It can provide information and guidance for students, especially students of English study program at Palangkaraya University to understand this translation technique as well when they take a study translation course. Second is for the future researcher. It can provide information and use as reference to others who want to analyze translation techniques in film or subtitle. And the last is for English learners. It can provide information in choosing films for people who use English movie as learning object and information to know how to add, how accurate the meaning of the subtitle is translated from the source language. Identification of the key terms. There are five key terms in this research. They are analysis, translation, technique, subtitle, and movie. Chapter two, the view of related literature. The first, the first is theoretical review consists of the definition of translation, the principle of translation, the translation technique, the definition of subtitle, and Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire movie. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire movie is the fantasy film that is directed by Mike Newell and distributed by Warner Bros. Picture. Its story, based on J.K. Rowling novel with the same name. And this movie tells about Harry Potter's adventure and survive the three wizard tournament as Hogwarts champion. Even though his involvement in this tournament is against his will because the Goblet of Fire suddenly decide his name as another Hogwarts champion. This movie is released on November 18, in 18 2005 with its duration is 100 57 minutes. Second is previous research. The first research was done by Melissa in 2019 with its title, An Analysis of Translation Technique in English into Indonesian Subtitle, a Descriptive Qualitative Study of IT 2017 Movie Subtitle. The second research was done by Indra Setiawan in 2017 with the title, The Translation Technique Analysis of Moana's Utterances in Moana's Movie Subtitle. My research framework. As you can see, the uh, research framework consists of the step that will be carried out by the researcher in analyzing the translation technique that used in translating the subtitle of Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. The first is researcher will watch Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire movie, collecting the utterances done by Harry Potter from broad, from broad English subtitle text and Indonesian subtitle, identifying Harry Potter's utterances to find the translation technique, classifying the translation technique using theory by Molina and Albir, which is consists 18 translation techniques. They are adaptation, amplification, borrowing, calcul, compensation, description, discursive creation, established equivalent, generalization, literal translation, modulation, reduction, transposition, linguistic amplification, linguistic compressions, particularization, substitution, and the last is variation. After classified this tra the translation technique, the researcher will calculate the percentage of the translation technique for each technique. And then the researcher will analyze the result of the data and draw conclusion and suggestion based on the data analysis.
the chap chapter three research method research design the first is research design the, this research uses a descriptive method to identify and analyze the translation technique in translating the english script of harry potter and the goblet of I translation technique in translating the English script of Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire movie into Indonesian subtitle. This research uses descriptive qualitative approach because the data are in the form of words, phrases, clauses, sentences, and paragraphs coming from the from documents. Second research setting and subject. In this research, the setting is in the form of audiovisual media, a movie with its title, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. The researcher uses the purposive sampling to choose the research subject as Blake explained. Purposive sampling is a prob probability sam sampling method it, and it occurs when elements selected from the sample are chosen by the judgment of the researcher. Therefore, the research subject of this research is every Harry Potter's utterances from both English subtitle text and Indonesian subtitle from Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire movie. Data and source of data. The data of this research is every utterance done by Harry Potter in the form of word, presses, clauses that will be occurred in the dialogues of Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire movie. It should be noted that because the notion of the movie's genre are fantasy and magical, all uh, curses, spell, jinxes that are originally in Latin will not be identified in the process of analyzing the translation technique. The source of the data is from Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire movie and from the English transcript. Research instrument. The instruments that will be used in analyzing the data in this research is the researcher herself, where she will watch the movie, not the utterances done by Harry Potter from both the movie and the movie script, understand the data, tabulate the data, analyze and ident identify the data to find the kind of translation technique, then classify the translation, translation technique that it used to translate the English text into Indonesian subtitle. Data technique of data collection. The data of this research will be collected by using observation and documentation method. The data will be taken from Harry Potter's dialogue in Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire movie. The researcher will start to watch the movie and also read the script, then note. They note every utterance done by Harry Potter and make a list of these utterances. After that, the researcher will start to tabulate this list into source language and target language and the time when the dialogue occurred in the movie. Then the researcher will start to analyze and identify these utterances to find the translation technique. After that, the researcher we start to rewrite the data into source language and target language and put the number of the translation technique found in these utterances and put this data into table. It should be noted that the division of the data is not based on the type of data, such as words, phrases, and sentences, but it is classified by the techniques of translation. Technique of data analysis. All of the data collected from the Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire movie are, are analyzed by the following steps. First, identifying the utterances to find the translation technique. Second, classifying the translation technique using Molina and Albir theory and put the result into the table data analysis. As you can see, table data analysis consists of search language, target language, and translation technique. Second, the third step is to count the frequency of each translation techniques and put the result into table data analysis presented. The researcher uses the following formula by Sugino to count the percentage of the data. P is equal to F divided by N multiplied by 100%, whereas P is for percentage for frequency of the translation technique for each category and n 
for total number of translation techniques. And table data analysis percentage consists of translation technique, frequency, and percentage of this translation technique. The fourth is explain the reason of the app of the application of the translation techniques used to translate these utterances. Research procedure. The procedures in conducting the research are as the following. First, the researcher will find the movie entitled Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Then the researcher will watch the movie and read the transcript to find the data that is every utterance done by Harry Potter. After that, the researcher will collect the data then the researcher will check and process the data. After that, the researcher will analyze the data by identifying, classifying, describing, explaining, and finally concluding the result of the research. Thank you. That's all for my presentation. Thank you for your attention. Okay, thank you, Agustina. Now we go on to the second session. Uh, questions and suggestions from the reviewer. Okay, uh, Pak Iwan, time is yours, Pak Iwan. Okay, uh, thank you, Volga. And uh, okay, yes, Agustina. Um, we have uh, read about um, all you think that uh, you write down on your thesis on your thesis proposal. Yeah, and then. Um, First thing that I just need to know here, yeah, on your research objective that um, uh, you will have uh, two objective of your research. Yes. Before, okay, before before I ask about this, I just uh, I want I want to know about why you choose um, the Harry Potter for your the Harry Potter movie for your. Uh, uh, research uh, interest on your on your topics. Give me the reason for the logic reason first, because this is about the translations. Why yeah. did you choose um, the Harry Potter movie, not the others? I think why? Uh, because the researcher already familiar with this movie, and there's a lot of subtitle regarding this movie. So the researcher thinks uh, there's a lot of translator um, that experience in translate this movie. So the researcher use uh, decide to choose this movie because there's a lot of translation uh, product of this movie. So there are so many translation about this movie, you think? Yes. And how do you know about that? Did you write down about that on your your thesis proposal on your proposal because um you think that uh, there are so many translators about this movie and then have you already write down about this on your proposal mm. your interest I think not sir. but Why? I did, but I did write uh, there's a lot of translation translated product of this movie but I think for example. I, there's translator products. What do you mean by translator product? I mean, there are literally a lot of language, uh, uh, languages. The title of this movie. There, uh, there's there are Indonesians, Spanish, Italian. Oh, I got it. So this movie has been translated into many languages. You mean? Yes. Oh. I guess that um, the translation uh, of this movie into Bahasa Indonesia, there are so many versions that, that I think from your, from, your, uh, from your perspectives now. No. Do you, do you get what I, think, what I mean? You, you, you think um, that the, the, the translation of this movie into uh, many languages or the translation of this movie into many versions of Bahasa Indonesia? Which one? Many version of Bahasa Indonesia. Are you sure? Yes. How many versions? There are 14. How many? 14, sir. 14 persons? Yes. 
14 version of bahasa Indonesia to translate to be translated in, uh, from this movie? Yes, sir. Oh. There are Could you mention so have you mentioned already on your proposal? There is there there is Yes, there is there is Wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm a little bit um Sorry. Sorry, I tried to get my earphone because um Yes. Okay. Uh, could you tell me once again? Hello? Yes, Abhispina? Can you use the can to you? Yeah. I mentioned the this movie. There's like no fourteen product of Indonesian subtitles. Indonesian subtitles. Yes. How many? Fourteen. Yes, fourteen. And then it means that uh, there are fourteen translator also uh, from this movie that you got from uh, into Bahasa Indonesia. There are thirteen there, and uh, no. 13, yes, 13. How many? 14, 13, 16, which one? The, the, the correct 13, one. 13 translation, 14 trans, um, translated movie. 14 translated, but there are, trans, are 13 translator. Um, sorry, excuse me. Could you uh, switch off your, your uh, share screen? Because um, your sound is a little bit um, lag to my device. Please uh, turn off your share screen first, then uh, to anticipate that your voice uh, will be clear to be listened on my device. Do not share the screen. Okay, have you stopped it? Yes. Okay, yes. Okay, now we 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 back again. Um, you said that uh, there are fourteen percent of translations uh Harry Potter's movie into Bahasa Indonesia, right? Yes. And then um, uh, it means that uh, there are fourteen translator also. There are thirteen because the translation, the translator, Detective Kubiko, there are two product of he of of his or her. Uh, translated subtitle in this. Okay. Okay. So you 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 are very familiar with this. Um, there are so uh, thirteen translator and that fourteen a version of Bahasa Indonesia to be translated from the from the Harry Potter's movie, right? Yes. That's the reason why you choose this uh, this uh, movie to be uh, your your research uh, topic. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, could you mention uh, from the 14 trans or 13 translator, uh, two or three translators that you know? There are Detective Kofiko, of course, and, and then, then Timo Zakura, and wait a minute, I guess I have it somewhere. The name sounds not uh, Indonesia. Yes, I guess so. But they translate to Bahasa Indonesia. Are you sure yes, that sir. um they got a uh, good translation? Uh, I don't know if they are good or not, but I guess because they put their translated product, mm -hmm. and I uh, there's such a thing is they are good enough. Okay, okay, this is a very interesting I think because some um, there are fourteen translators uh. Uh, 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 translate uh, the movies to Bahasa Indonesia. Yes. Why did you? Uh, okay, no, 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 not that. Uh, that the question. The question is, which one that you choose to your uh, research from these uh, translators? Uh, the one that done by Detective Kofiko. That's the translator that you choose uh, from this movie. Yes. 
Okay, okay, I got it. Okay, now you should uh, first, uh, you should write down on your thesis proposal. The yes. first thing, why you, you, you choose this, uh, what is it? This uh, movie, yeah, because you have the uh, logical reason, because um, I think uh, you have uh, your own reason. The very interesting one is uh, this movie uh, has uh, many translation into uh, many languages. And then the second one, you should also mention this movie uh, also uh, has uh, many versions of uh, Bahasa Indonesia translation. So uh, you should mention this. This is a very, very special, I think, very interesting. You should mention this on your, on your background. Yeah. yeah. And then also, you should also mention which one that you choose from those uh, 13 translators to be your research, uh, what is it? Your research topic to be choose uh, on your investigation. Yeah, yes, that's the first thing. And then um, I also has uh, the, what is it? Uh, the, 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 the things that you should uh, mention or you should add into your background before before you what is it before you you give uh, you end your close your your research background yeah so why you choose uh, the movie yeah you have your your own logical reason because um the movie has many translation into many languages and then the second one the what is it you say um the movies also has uh, some uh, version in Bahasa Indonesia translations, yeah. That's also, that makes you interested in, in what is it, in investigating about this movie. This is uh, the two kinds of this uh, reason. Maybe you, you, you should put, uh, before you finish your backgrounds, yeah, before you mention the, the, what is it, the title of your study, yeah. You should give the explanation about this, yeah, in detail, yeah. Okay, okay and then the second one, my question: Why only the main character? You should, you 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 have already mentioned on your research purpose here. Yeah, the researchers makes a limitation, which is analyzing the utterances that utter by the main character of the movie, that is Harry Potter. Why only Harry Potter, not the others? Yeah, because, because um, we, 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 have, we have. Sorry. Yes, sir. Continue. Yeah. Continue. Yeah. Why, why Harry Potter? Only the main character. How many main characters on this movie? There are, for this movie, I think three. Three main characters. Yes. What else uh, other than Harry Potter? There is Harry Potter's best friend. They are Ron Weasley and Harmony Granger. I think the two of them. Why two? the two others you... You are not interested to be uh, included on your on your uh, research. Only because, Harry Potter. Because the researcher thinks that this movie is about Harry Potter, so the, the researcher decides that Harry Potter has a lot of dialogues in this movie. So the subtitle and the translation technique to translate the subtitle must be. They're, they are from Harry Potter's dialogue. That's why the researcher choose Harry Potter's dialogue. What about the, the two others' dialogue? The two others' uh, characters? Uh, you think uh, the dialogue is not interesting or what else? That uh, cannot, uh, cannot be included into your, into your uh, research uh, focus. I think that if I'm not mistaken, when I watched this movie, when I still child, the other two main character uh, has less screen time for this movie, if I'm not mistaken. Has less, what is it? The other two characters has less screen, screen time for this movie, sir. What do you mean, screen times? Yes. Screen time, so therefore the, their dialogue. What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? Could you uh, say in Bahasa Indonesia? What do you mean by that? Uh, apa itu dialognya dua karakter lagi lebih sedikit dibanding Harry Potter, sir. What is it? Bisa apa? Okay. You, 
your voice is a little bit lag, so that's why I, I, I'm a little bit um, unclear to, to, to hear your voice. Dua karakternya lagi, Pak, uh, memiliki sedikit screen time. Karena kalau saya ingatnya oh, lagi saat, time. Ini, yes, sir. saat masih oh, menonton that's... film ini, dua karakter itu. Yeah, yeah. Yang uh, yeah, I, 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 just, I just need the clarification from 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 uh, your statement about this the, the the screen time because I'm a little bit um uh, what is it unclear to to listen about that. Okay, the two the other two characters uh, not too many uh, on the screen times that you think. Yes. Okay. Okay, that's also you should mention on your thesis, uh, on your proposal, yeah. Yes. Why only uh, the Harry Potter the main character that uh, you want to investigate, not the other two characters? Because we know uh, in every movies, in every film, yeah, uh, the, the character is not only one. Yeah, we have uh, uh, maybe two or three uh, characters, the main characters of the of the movie. But in this case, yeah, you just only choose the Harry Potter, yeah. Uh, and then also we know that um, still there are two other characters. So uh, you should give any logical reason to your to your uh, what is it to your uh, research here, yeah, or your research focus here. I choose uh, the, the main character of Harry Potter only because uh, what is that you say that um, the other two characters has uh, less uh, what is it less. Uh, Dialogues in screen movie. time, yeah, less dialogue from from the, the, the movie frames, yeah. Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. And then, um, uh, on your research significance here, I read that um, research significant. Yes, some um, in research significant also. Uh, you must cover at least three parties here. Yeah, the first thing is the for the student what 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 the research uh, uh, is to be significant to be significant to the students and then to also to the teachers or, or the lecturers because some um, here uh, about the translation it's still related with the, the what is it the lecturer of translations or the lecture of the translation and then the next researchers yeah the next researchers yeah. Uh, for this is uh, research significant that you write down here. You just only mention for the student. Where is for the what is it for the lecturers or for the lecture also for the lecture of the translation or for the lecturers, yeah. And then where also for 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 this it for the next researchers for the, the next researcher who want to investigate related matters, yeah. You still uh, need to mention here what your research uh, benefits to the students, especially for the students of English, yeah? uh, for those who uh, study uh, in English department also, or for, for those who learn the lecture of translation, or even you want to, to, to what is it, to uncover, or even you want to explain about, this is uh, the, the, the benefit of my research to the lecturer of the translation. And then also uh, you saw, uh, put uh, the benefit also to the next researchers who want to investigate the related matters. Yeah, I think uh, you still uh, has you still have no uh, two others uh, benefits that you determine to the students and then also uh, sorry to the lecturer to the lecturers and then also to the lecture yeah for those who who follow the lecture of translation and then also for the the next researcher who want to investigate the uh, SAMS related matters, yeah, on the research yes. significance. Yes, sir. Okay, now, um, now we are, I'm going to the chapter three on the page uh, 46, yeah. Here you mentioned number four on, this is, uh, this, what is it? Research, uh, I think data collection or data analysis explaining on the pitch number 46, have you opened it? 46, number four, explaining the reason of the application of the translation technique used to translate this utterances. I'm still, uh, what is it, uh, 
unclear about this uh, sentence, yeah. What kind of explanation you will be reasoning in this tape? I think, yeah, because um, you didn't even uh, precise explanation here, yeah. Can you explain precisely uh, here? Explaining, okay, okay. I, I I read the sentence number four. Have you got the the point? Have you got uh, my my what is it? My point yes, here sir. on the page number forty six. Have you got it? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay, yes. number four. Let's see there. Explaining the reason of the application of the translation technique used to translate those occurrences. This is a little bit uh, confused for me about this sentence because uh, in my mind, I just uh, ask what kind of explanation uh, you will be reasoning in this step. You will give the reason for this step. Yeah. Can you explain about this precisely? Such as uh, what? The researcher try to explain why the translator used this uh, translator technique when mm -hmm. he or she translate uh, maybe the this uh, the utterances of Harry Potter. Yeah, how do you know the reason why, from from where, or from whom? Researcher will find this reason where she identified the translation technique. <laughs> Okay, can you can could you give the example? For example, such as what? If, just if, one if, for, the, if for, for example, this is the technique of translation, and then you know the reason why. Give me the example about this uh, this precise uh, explanations. Do you uh, got my point? Do you got my point? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Like when the translator translate. The dialogue such as I have a bad dream and the And then you know the technique? Yes. In the and what is the technique? And the Indonesian subtitle is Aku Aku Mimpi Buruk. Mm -hmm. Indonesia, yes, sir. Yes, and then and technique and you know the situ. Yes. Reduction. Reduction. Yes. And then how But, do you know? How do you know after you know the techniques? How do you know the reason for the translator to use the technique? Or the researcher will, uh, what is it? Connect a, the translator decision with the context of the movie because reduction, because. mencari penjelasan kenapa translatornya menggunakan teknik ini Pak lebih memperhatikan konteks yang terjadi dalam dialog itu Pak dalam tem itu kenapa pasti dengan begitu researcher bisa alasan kenapa translatornya menggunakan teknik ini oke okay, oke okay. I, I, I understand what you what you mean yeah. but but I think this is a very complicated for you And then, okay, now we back again to the research focus. What is the focus of, uh, of your, your study? Have you mentioned also, and then have you, have you decided also already on your research focus that you want to find out the reason why the, translation, the translator to, to use this technique? No. There's, no. There's why, a why, 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 yeah, why, why did you look for about that things if you didn't? If you didn't uh, want to investigate about the, the reason of the translator to use the technique, oh. if you didn't mention about the, the what is it the, the the focus of your of your research, not to be focused on the reason why the translators uh, what is it uh, choose the techniques, yeah, why well, you should get the, the the analysis about that. I think it's uh, it's uh, a little bit a uh, little bit complicated for you. And then also for you know, if you want to know the reason why the translator to use the technique, you should find out, and then you should uh, connect yourself with the translator itself. And then, for example, you Hello. should uh, what is it? You should uh, what is it? You should uh, find the translator, and then you should meet the translator, yeah, to interview, yeah, with the okay. translator, yeah, to find out why the translator use the techniques, yeah. Okay. But if you didn't, if you didn't, 
if your research didn't focus on the reason why the translators uh, use the technique, why you choose, you should uh, mention about this on your on your uh, data analysis. I think it is uh, it's very complicated, and then also it is uh, very difficult for you to find out the reason here, yeah, because you are not uh, related with the translator. Yeah? You just only yeah. Uh, right. Analyze the what is it the the, the, the form of the translate the, the the form of the translation and then when I saw on your research focus which one the very dominant one of the translation techniques that you that the the, the 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 what is it the translator use on the on the movie that's it right yes sir yes yeah yeah I think this is a very complicated this is a very yeah. what is it uh, not familiar not I think not. not I, I, I'm not saying that not familiar. This is, I think, not include on your research focus, but why you to mention this on, on your research analysis, on the data analysis, yeah. Explaining the reason of the application of the translation technique used that to translate those utterances. Uh, Menjel menjelaskan, menjelaskan alasan yeah. kenapa translation technique itu diterapkan atau digunakan di dalam uh, Ini juga tidak paham bapak kalimatnya dalam bahasa Indonesia apa maksudnya ini artinya. Your Karena, English is a little bit unclear here. Ya, Pak. Yes, karena. Karena uh, saya memikirkan mungkin saya bisa menjelaskan uh, alasan aplikasi translation teknik ini dengan melihat konteks yang ada di film, Pak. Maka kamu yakin ada teorinya kamu bisa mendapatkan alasan itu melalui itu? Saya hanya melihat dari research research yang sebelumnya. Kalau ada teorinya, if you have any theory, theoretical background that um, explain about if you use the techniques, this is the reason. If you use this technique, this is the reason. Kalau ada teorinya seperti itu, nggak masalah. And then you should also uh, put one uh, one thing on your research focus that you want to find out the reason why the translator to uh, use the techniques. Ya, berarti ada tiga setelah after you got the, the, the kinds of the translations, techniques that the translator use, and then what is the dominance uh, techniques that used by the translator, and then the third one, uh, you should find out the reason why the translator use this technique. Berarti ada tiga. Yeah. And then for you know, yeah, untuk uh, the reason why ini, yeah, kalau umpamanya kamu tidak, you didn't uh, connect yourself with the translator, for example, you should uh, uh, make an interview with the translator, yeah, Teori apa yang kamu gunakan? What kinds of theory that you use to your analysis that um, you can uh, what is it? You can uncover or you can uh, give any kinds of uh, reason? Yeah, when the translator use this technique, this is the reason. Use this technique, this is the reason. Dari mana kamu tahu alasan dia menggunakan itu? Kalau kamu tidak menginterview dia, ya. apakah ada teorinya untuk itu? Itu maksudnya. Tidak ada. Sepertinya nah, saya kalau tidak ada kenapa kenapa tiba-tiba muncul itu maksudnya? Ya, Agustina? Ya Pak. Uh, so so what do you think about this? You should uh, is you still uh, uh, what is it? You, did, did you still um, um, use the reason to find out the reason of uh, the translator or not? No. Yeah. Yeah, ada kamu sebutkan you have already mentioned only two uh, focuses on on your on your research focus yeah but uh, suddenly you find the uh, you 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 mention or you mention your in on your analysis that you want to find the, the reason the research focus kamu tidak mengatakan kamu tidak kamu tidak mengatakan kamu akan menganalisis alasan kenapa translator use this techniques tetapi tiba-tiba di analisis kamu mengatakan ingin mencari anak mencari reasonnya mencari alasannya ya. Ya, dan kalau kamu tetap ngotot untuk mencari alasannya itu tadi ya kamu harus ketemu dengan translationnya paling tidak kamu bisa menginterview dia apa alasan dia menggunakan teknik ini pak baik pak ya, ya. ya seperti itu ya ya pak so berarti you still uh, have uh, two uh, focuses on your research ya yeah? yes ya pak okay. Hanya Bapak bingung, ya. Yeah. Why you uh, mention here the reason of the application of the translation technique? Okay, that's uh, you should uh, omit from your from your uh, chapter three, yeah, because you didn't have any 
any any matters with the reason of the translator use the techniques yeah that's uh, the translator business not not yet sure not just your your own business yeah yes sir let the translator use the techniques yeah but you didn't you didn't have uh, your own right to find out why the translator use the reason you use the techniques I mean, yeah okay yeah yes sir okay now uh, on the uh Okay, this is a little bit uh, uh, what is it? A little bit confused for me because since on since the beginning of that chapter three, you didn't mention uh, how how you know about your research is valid for the result. Yeah, because when we use the what is it? The qualitative method. Yeah, qualitative uh, research method. Yeah, you should ensure or you should guarantee. Yeah, our research that. Um, our research is uh, going to be valid, yeah, in terms of the data, in terms of the result of the research itself, yeah. So you didn't mention here such as some, um, I think at the end of this chapter three, you may mention 3.7, the validity of the research, yeah. Because I didn't, I didn't find out here, I didn't find here, yeah, the validity of your research here, yeah. You just only mentioned this is the kinds of my research, this is the setting, this is the subject, and then this is the procedure of my research. This is the how to, to, to collect about the data, how to analyze the data, but you didn't mention how to make sure the readers or how to make sure uh, the person who reads your, 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 your research that your data or your result of your research is going to be valid based on your, on your procedures, yeah. So yeah. I think you should mention here the validity of your research. For example, you may elaborate here, how do you ensure, how do you guarantee that um, the result of your research is valid based on the type of qualitative research? For example, in qualitative research, we have, uh, what is it? We have uh, factors such as um, uh, uh, credibility criteria, yeah, credibility criteria of our data, and then also the trustworthiness, yeah, yeah, that we should mention also here, yeah. And then also you may explain in specific uh, through uh, this 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 heading I give you on this uh, the end at the end of the chapter three. Yeah, you should put here validity of the research. Jadi setiap riset yang 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 kualitatif ya. Kalau di kuantitatif orang bisa melihat dari 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 uh, reliability dari validity instrumennya. Nah sekarang di sini validity uh, instrumen yang kamu pakai apa? Misalnya tadi validity Um, for example, validity of your data. Apa yang menjamin data kamu itu valid? Ya, di sana ada. Kamu bisa buka lagi buku research methodology. Di sana bisa dalam bentuk credibility criteria of the data, and then also trustworthiness. Bagaimana cara cross check data itu supaya data ini dikatakan valid? Ya, silakan dibaca lagi di sana. Ya, di, di research uh, methodology untuk um, for uh, qualitative uh, that qualitative research ya. Karena research kamu ini kualitatif ya. Ya, Pak. Bukan kuantitatif, ya. Jadi kualitatif di sana kamu harus memastikan kevalitan keabsahan daripada data yang kamu miliki itu bagaimana caranya. Silakan buka lagi di riset metodologi, ya. Oke, okay, ya. Agustina, ya, ya paham ya. Nanti ditambahkan you should uh, add the headings ya at the end of your chapter 3, ya. 3.7 maybe validity of the research, ya. Jadi tidak asal riset kamu tidak asal ada yang 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 apa membuktikan kalau kalau riset ini valid dari segi data dan hasilnya ya seperti itu yes, oke okay. silakan saja kalau dicari di metodologi how to uh, valid to validate our our uh, what is it our uh, qualitative data on research ya nah sekarang and then the last one here on the references here The references ini you should write reference uh, following uh, buku panduan. We have we have buku panduan FKIP, uh, how to write down the reference here. Yeah, for example, on the on the references you should uh, type the single space. Yeah, not the double space like this. You should type in the single space and then leave a space to each author. Yeah, between authors, yeah, we have a, a blank space yeah. like that. And then also how to write. Uh, authors' names also, yeah. We should uh, mention the second name and then also the the what is it? The first name, the first name on the on the next, yeah. For example, like this, Agustina Ekaristri. Yeah. The name should mention on the on the references the second name first, 
and then the 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 what is it the the first name uh, behind the second name Ekaristri oh, okay. yeah, yes. Agustina but Agustinas could not be mentioned on the reference only the letters the first letters of of the name for example Ekaristi comma G something like that. that's the what is it the the rules to write down the the reference yeah yeah the author's name for example here you okay Catford, you see here on your references, Catford GC, the second name and then the third name, you should uh, only uh, write down the initial letters, yeah? like Desili, De Delisli G. However, the next year, Fajarwati Diah Prima. Yeah? You cannot mention like this, Fajarwati Diah Prima. You just uh, only write down Fajarwati DP, yeah? only the initial letters of the, of the yes, second yes. and the third name. Yeah? Like that. That's the kinds of also the, the, the rules of how to write down the reference. And then also the title of the book, the article on journal, and so on. Yeah. If the title of the book you should write down in the italic, and then also in the article of journal, yeah, you only write down by the normal letter. However, the name of journal you should write down on the italic. Yeah. Oh, yes. So yes. you should see the what is it, the Buku Panduan. Again, about how to write down the reference of, on on your your proposal. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. Any questions? No, sir. So there are so some some. Uh, what is it here? Uh, some related matters on the result that you you should revise. Yeah, I will send you the the files of the word files. Yeah. And then you, you, what is it? You find the comments and then also the notes from me on the files. If you have no question, please ask me. Yeah, on the what is it on the WhatsApp? Yeah, just text me. Yeah, then I will give you the explanation how to revise the the comments and then also I, how to revise the the what is it the things that I mentioned on on my comments. Yeah, okay. Yes, sir. Okay, Agustina? thank you. Yes, that's uh, from me, Ibu Olga, about my review on Agustina's uh, proposal. Okay, thank you, Pak Iwan, for the valuable suggestions and also uh, questions for Agustina. Okay, Agustina, have you already uh, written all of the suggestions from Pak Iwan? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, okay, so... Uh, before we end our thesis proposal examination today, uh, have you already took a, uh, yeah, have you already taken uh, the screenshot? Uh, no. Okay, okay. Uh, I invite all of the audience to um, to open the camera camera yeah video. Okay, because uh, this will be one of the prerequisite to uh, to, to have an examination. So, uh, Jessica, Yolanda, Tirsa, Natasha, open your camera, please. And uh, also, the audience can also take uh, the screenshot. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Agustina. Yeah. Okay. Uh, take the screenshot. Yeah. Yes. Okay, the audience, have you already taken the screenshot? Okay, so uh, on behalf of the team, the thesis proposal examination today is officially closed. Thank you everyone for coming. Uh, Agustina, uh, your, uh, yeah, we will not announce the result today, but you still have to make the revision. 
you have two weeks to do the revisions, please go to the examiner before you go to the advisors, okay? So you only have two weeks to do the revision. Okay. Uh, thank you, everyone. Uh, stay health, uh, <laughs> stay safe and healthy. Okay, thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you sir.